The next morning, I went through and organized all the junk Cinderella had purchased. There we go. <laughs> we'll return everything where possible, and if it can't be returned, then we'll sell it off. That will get some of your money back. Then from there, we just need to hire a lawyer. Sound good? Yeah. You're gonna ghost me. <laughs> I know it. I, I've never felt like so sad during a love slash kiss scene as the last one where I'm just like, yeah, I mean, it's really touching and things, but like this guy's just gonna be like, uh, I, I'm gonna head out now. <laughs> Cause he's gonna be like, nope. I just turn everything to ash. I got to get out of here before I destroy her. And she realizes that I'm, you know, just the worst. And I can't go through with it because I was going to marry her for the wrong reasons. And yeah, just gonna, you know, he's got to do the Cinderella thing where he disappears and leaves like one thing behind so we can go find him. Uh, he's just like, I'm not a fan of this. I don't want you fixing my problems. It should be me. I won't go on crazy shopping sprees anymore. I'll work hard to repay my debt a little at a time. That's the spirit. Just try to stay positive. I swear on my life. So, please. He looked at me like a scolded child. I took his hand in mine. It's a promise. <laughs> Don't worry. No matter what happens, I won't let go. Even when you run away, I will find you. When we returned to the cafe, we fetched his brothers and told them everything. That I was actually Cinderella's fiancé, and that their family was in a lot of debt. They had very contrasting reactions, to say the least. I can't- please tell me, you show me you're showing me- uh, You're showing this to me is what I'm trying to say. Delightful. I, I knew it. I knew Gretel was going to be, like, so upset, and Snow's like, yeah, I've known since I was born. <laughs> what? We're in debt? No one told me about this. I knew about it, actually. What? I didn't experience it for myself, but Mother told me all about it. So I was the only one left out of the loop. Is that it? The thing about you, Gretel, is that you never much cared for our parents to begin with. Ouch! I guess Snow is mommy's boy, then. True that. That's the only reason you didn't know about it. It wasn't relevant to you, so there was no need to inform you. You don't care about your parents? No one is obligated to, after all. Besides, our family life is rather complicated. I guess. His voice was flat and monotone. I got the sense I was better off not prying further. There was a long moment of silence that persisted until Cinderella finally broke it. So you're not mad? What? About the dead? It's a little late now. Nothing out of the usual for you, anyway. Sorry. If you knew it was the wrong thing to do, then you shouldn't have done it in the first place. But then again, maybe you wouldn't have seen the light without her help. Gretel turned his gaze to me. His eyes seemed to say, take care of my idiot brother for me, will you? <laughs> Silence descended once more as the four of us contemplated what to do. We should all go live with Mother. Snow White was the first to offer a concrete suggestion. If we side with her, we won't be held responsible for Father's death. I'm staying here. After all, it's partly my fault that we got into this mess. And besides, I can't betray Dad like that. What about you, Gretel? I'm not going to take sides. Oh, great. I got one on this side, one on this side, and I got like, I'm, a, I'm on my own side. <laughs> what? Then what's your plan, exactly? I'll live on my own. You're still a teenager. I'll figure it out. Just because our father's in debt doesn't mean I want to go live with our mother. As the youngest son, those two never gave a rat's ass about me anyway. The debt has nothing to do with it. So you're the youngest, huh? Interesting. 
So Cinderella is the oldest, Snow is the middle child, and you're the youngest. I would have thought Snow was the youngest. Interesting. Wanna stay here then? No thanks. I'm leaving. Gretel averted his gaze. I don't belong here anyway. Alright. I guess the family is breaking up then. The next day... Not wanting to drag out their goodbyes, the boys decided to leave the house early that morning. Dang, they... They don't sleep on their decisions. They're just like, we're out. Cinderella and I saw them off at the door. You sure you want to stay here, Cinderella? Yeah. I'm all Dad has left now, and I'd feel bad leaving him alone. He may be a total deadbeat, but I figure at least one of us ought to stick by him. Besides, you guys never really knew him the way I did. Don't let it hold you back. Right. Not like you're gonna leave the country, right? So there's no need to get all worked up. We can hang out any time. Indeed. In the end, we'll always be brothers. Snow White looked up, a tiny smile playing on his lips. Everybody look quick before it's gone. He's actually smiling, precious baby. I'm sorry, I got distracted. Right. No matter what happens, we'll still have each other. Cinderella, do try to make her happy, won't you? I will, I promise. And Gretel, while I'm sure you can look out for yourself, I hope you'll take better care of your health. Yes, yes, I know. How does the... Uh, my brother's in your hands now. Understood. Take care, Snow White. I hope to see you again soon. Until then. See you around. And with that, Snow White walked out of the cafe. Well then, I guess I'd better be going as well. Once Snow White was gone, Gretel picked up his suitcase. Are you sure you want to leave? Unlike Snow White, who was going to their mother's house, Gretel had no set destination. I couldn't help but wish that he would change his mind. I'm afraid so. But first... Hmm? He gazed at me for a moment, and I tilted my head in confusion. Then out of nowhere, he grabbed me by the hand and pulled me close. What are you doing? <laughs> wait, 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 hold, hold... On where, sir? Sir? Um, sir? What? That's it. You did. But the. What? Wait. I have conflicting feelings about this. Wait. Okay. We're definitely getting a Gretel bad ending somewhere in here. I'm sorry, it's it's happening, and I don't know, I don't know if I've got enough supplies to handle it. I'm like, I um, well, he just he really went for it, eh? Okay, well, moving on. You are truly a charming woman, Arisa. Maybe if things had worked out differently, I would have fallen for you myself. Well, I guess, wait... Two more routes after this? I think it's two. I think it's after... I think it's right after Red Riding Hood. I think it's you? Next? Two or three. Ugh, that's kind of close. Hmm. He shot me a seductive smile as I clutched my cheek. Oh, my cheek in surprise. Thank God <laughs> it was the cheek. I'm like, he really went for the full lip on lip because I'm like, dang, bro's got some cojones on him. Thank you, Gretel. You're a charming guy yourself. Said nobody ever. I smiled back at him. Glad to hear it. You, you little punk. Meanwhile, Cinderella was shaking with rage. Okay, now I buy he's the baby. No, 
Naturally, Gretel saw this and decided to rub salt in the wound. <laughs> that is not... If you walk out the door after saying this, I'm out. Thanks for the treat. It was delicious. Gretel! <laughs> See you again someday. We're not inviting him to the wedding. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want him at my wedding. <laughs> get, get out of here. <laughs> I'd rather invite Alice than you. Sir. With a gallant wave of his hand, Gretel turned on his heel and strode out the door and was murdered in an alley the next day with a glass implement. Yeah, see you around. I waved goodbye. I would miss having him around, but I knew he was more than capable of taking care of himself. Mm -hmm. That asshole always has to have the last word. And you? How can you just let him do that? I'm standing right here, damn it! He glared at me, but I shrugged my shoulders. I'm not going to be rude to my future in-law. Girl. <laughs> there's rude and there's... I don't even know what to call that. There's like, a line was crossed, alright? A line was crossed. In-law? Assuming we get married, that is. But of all the possible choices we could make, I'd say it's definitely on the table. Oh. Right. His anger instantly defl- oh, oh yeah, I'm the one marrying you. <laughs> Instant deflation. An awkward silence descended between us and I fixed my gaze on him. Well, looks like it's just the two of us, huh? Yep. Cinderella looked away. Catch! Without warning, I dashed up and hugged him. Huh? Now we can be all lovey-dovey without anyone bothering us. I think you guys have forgotten, Alice. Lovey-dovey? We're dating now, remember? I love you and you love me. I love you. You love me. <laughs> Where... Uh, I, I can't think of what to rhyme with me, but it's, you're stuck with me. Oh, right. So, now that we're officially an item, there's only one thing left to do. Can you guess what that is? Uh, <laughs> I, I knew it. <laughs> I mean, there's only one thing left to do. Have sex. This comment hit me out of nowhere like a ton of bricks. Girl, you've brought it up more often than not. How will you respond to this? But the music stopped. <laughs> what even? <laughs> what, what do I even do? Look, you can't smack him after you let Gretel kiss you on the cheek and walk out, you know, just dandy. Considering... Like, you have brought it up. I think it's only fair that you do what he does to you when you're... I, where's the, like, call him out? Because, like, he usually is like, it's not not always a sex thing, but I don't get that. <sighs> I'm going to choose to ignore this comment. For now. I fell silent. Huh? What's wrong? It's not like you to clam up like that. I'm ignoring you. Come on, say something. I'm ignoring you. Uh, are you ignoring me? Mm-hmm. Guess I can't ignore him completely. Fine, you get body gestures and that's it. Look, uh, I'm sorry. Please just talk to me. I forgive you. <laughs> Back on topic. I stepped away from him and cleared my throat. That was such an awkward. <laughs> there's no, there's no good option for that. <clears throat> All right, Cinderella. Let me ask you again. What's the first thing a new couple does? 
hug? So this. I snapped my fingers, but you guys just did that. Are you cool with me hugging you? Of course! Whenever, wherever, preferably as tight as you can. I spread my arms out wide, inviting him. He sidled up to me and gently pulled me into his embrace. Cute. <laughs> I'm so happy. I nuzzled my face against his chest like a kitten. Hey, Eureka. What is it, Cinderella? I looked up to find him gazing intently back. My heart skipped a beat. Can I... kiss you? K kiss me? Wow, this is sudden. Uh... My voice cracked in my panic. Girl, you kissed him! What do you mean, sudden? I've been wanting to do this the whole time. We're dating now, right? So what's the harm? That's strange. All of a sudden, he's... pushy. Aggressive. Dominant, perhaps? I was gonna say, like, you just, like, Gretel kiss, and then you kissed him, and, like... I didn't think we had to discuss this, but apparently we do. I, don't know. I mean... You let Gretel kiss you, didn't you? That was on the cheek. In certain countries, that barely qualifies as a greeting. Yeah, well, this isn't one of those countries. Touché. Please. Oh, for crying out loud, how can I possibly say no when you're begging me so sweetly? Oh, okay. Pulse racing, I closed my eyes. He cupped my cheek and I felt his breath against my skin. At last. I was going to have my first kiss. Unless you count the one from earlier that I initiated, in which case this is my second. Why would we not count the one from earlier? That was like, I know I, I, I know you probably heard me complain about like the open mouth on open mouth where there was like no closed mouth on closed mouth, but there was no teeth on teeth. I'm counting it as a first kiss. So should you, just because you were the initiator. <laughs> oh no, it's Alice. <laughs> Go away! Timing, sir. Hey, lovebirds, I'm still here. <laughs> uh, so sorry. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. A romantic moment is ruined, but other than that, just peachy. There's gonna be another murder. Uh, how long have you been standing there? Why are you coming out of your room now? You haven't left it in like a month. And now that we finally, you know, quote unquote, have the place to ourselves, you're like, yo, uh, I'm still here, guys. Cinderella turned and pointed at the intruder. Naturally, that intruder was none other than... You didn't notice. While you two were busy acting out the climax of your stupid little rom-com, I was standing here the entire time. <sighs> this is why I hate couples. The second they hook up, they go off into their own little fantasy world. Sickening. Alice the Moodbreaker. Oh, right. I kind of forgot you existed. Whoops. It's rare to see you outside of your room for a change. I just felt like it. Do you seriously think I stay in there 24-7? I mean, it's just a little weird that the time you decide to finally come out is when a smooch is happening, sir. While I admit I'm pale and waifish like a porcelain doll, I make sure to get enough sun so I won't wind up with osteoporosis. Anyway, don't try to change the subject. Darn, I guess that won't work on you. Truth be told, I would have preferred we gloss over the part where he witnessed our entire lovey-dovey exchange, but evidently that was too much to ask for. I know your game, you monstrous evil witch in sheep's clothing. Frankly, I'd love to know what it is you see in her. She's cute and sweet and funny and smart and a good cook. She's basically all around perfect. That's a total 180 from your smile is worth 10 points, but I'll take it! Oh, Cinderella, I love you so much! I love you too. 
We shared another tight hug. I endorse this a thousand percent. Enjoy the show, Alice! Ugh! Forget I asked! And leave some room for Jesus! Way. <laughs> You're too much. He stuck his arm in between us, forcing us apart. Are you saying you're Jesus? Get out of here. <laughs> While it appears the others have moved out, rest assured I plan to stay right where I am for the time being. Not like you have anywhere else to go. Cram it, you dickless beta cuck! Damn! <laughs> Alice! I know you're an alpha gamer male, but sheesh. Can't you throw this guy out and not take his money anymore? What? Alpha or beta has nothing to do with it. I believe in an equal relationship between two partners. So you say, but really you love to wear the pants, don't you? And now you've got his balls in your purse. Damn! Good thing you're not 40 and balding or a doddering old geezer, huh, Cinderella? The good news about being a broke, worthless loser whose only merit is his looks is that you now have undeniable proof that she's not after your money. How do you know he's broke? We only talked to his brothers about that. I didn't think anybody else knew he was broke. As Alice's snide tirade continued, Cinderella nervously turned to me. Why did you fall for me anyway? Wait. Oh, okay. I'm like, wait, who's saying this? Oh, it is Alice. Okay. Your looks, obviously. And your voice, I suppose. You've got a sexy voice. I will confirm that. Hey, yo, Daisuke. It's a very sexy voice. Nobody asks you, Alice. I... Do? Uh... <clears throat> I love you, Yurika. Come here, cutie. You really don't have to force it. I appreciate the effort, but that is not <laughs> what you sound like. Okay, hold on. Um... For science purposes, I, um... What am I doing? I'm just going to... Go here. And I'm gonna make a save for me, scientifically, later. And, uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. I admit, you're quite good looking and you have a manly voice. But while I love those things about you, there's more to it than that. Then let's hear it. He's a sweetheart on the inside. Shouldn't he be a sweetheart on the outside? He's secretly a hard worker. Is he really a hard worker if he keeps it a secret? He's really good with his hands. And yet he has nothing worthwhile to show for it. Look, sometimes people just fall in love and there doesn't have to be a reason. Are you guys just straight up dunking on me? You're overthinking it. You're overthinking it. Cinderella slumped his shoulders at our perfectly synced reaction. <laughs> oh dear. I think he's legitimately upset. I mean, I would be. As his girlfriend, it's my job to soothe him. There, there, Cinderella. Don't worry. I'll still love you whether you're 40 and balding or a doddering old geezer. I stroked his hair. You sure about that? Fine, whatever. Have fun dancing like a clown in the palm of her hand. Personally, I can't begin to fathom what you two see in each other, but perhaps you're just that compatible. Then leave us alone, would you? <laughs> Don't you worry. As long as I'm around, I haven't the slightest intention of letting you people turn this place into a den of sin. You hear me? Not even a fraction. Well, you're no fun. As long as you don't have a weird exhibitionist fetish or something, I'll be around to interrupt you for a long, long time. 
Oh, and for the record, while we may not share sleeping quarters, the instant I detect any kind of funny business, I'm gonna slam you against the wall. Good day. I said good day. If I slam us against the wall, I had a feeling he didn't mean the fun, sexy guy. <laughs> I guess Eureka's in for that threesome already. Done with his rant, Alice turned on his heel and left the room. So, about that kiss... I think it's gonna be on hold for a while. <sighs> Cinderella let out the world's heaviest sigh. You'll have to take me outside if you want to <laughs> smooch me, I guess. And so began my new life together with Cinderella, and in brackets, Alice's interruptions. How were we handling the cafe now that his brothers were gone, you ask? Oh, he doesn't dress fancy anymore for his cafe. Are you ready to order, sir? Actually, it was working out surprisingly well. Fortunately, Gretel left his dessert recipes for us, so I was able to replicate them to an extent. Meanwhile, Cinderella took care of the rest. Well, that was very nice of Gretel. And not to brag or anything, but he kicked ass at it. Cleaning, laundry, cafe prep, customer service, and all without my help. Total lifesaver. Without Snow White or Gretel around, our workload had doubled, and it wasn't easy to serve all of our customers in a timely fashion. But we were confident we could manage as long as we had each other. However... Hey, uh... Oh, Cinderella, here! Run this out to the customer, will you? I handed him a slice of freshly baked cake on a plate. W will do. Listen, what's the next order? He blinked at my rapid-fire question. Huh? Oh, orange pico black tea with a crumpet. Got it! As soon as he gave the order, I launched into prep. Things were slow for right now, but based on past experience, we were due for a customer rush not too long from now. I gotta get as much prepped as I can. Hey, what is it? I glanced over to find him standing there with a the slice of cake, looking like he had something to say. Need some help. Thanks for the offer, but someone needs to stay out front to cover the dining area. Oh, right, of course. Hey, uh, once we close for the night... Just then, the door chime rang. Cinderella, get the door! There's a customer! R right Aw, he just wants to spend time with you. Huh. <sighs> over at last. Once the cafe was closed, Cinderella slumped over the table. I took a seat across from him. What a day, huh? It wasn't even that busy, either. So anyway, what were you going to tell me earlier? Oh yeah, so... But just as he jumped upright, the door jingled and someone walked in. Oh, for crying out loud! <gasps> it was a small boy. What the... the heck's a kid doing here? Um... What do you want? We're closed. The boy flinched at Cinderella's brusque tone, and then... Oh no, what have you done? <laughs> he started crying at the top of his lungs. Gah! What's wrong? Why are you crying? There, there. He's a big scary man, isn't he? Come here, sweetie. I held my arms open wide and the boy ran to me, sniffling. How am I scary? And why the hell are you two cuddling? Let go! He's just a little kid. What's the problem? I picked the boy up and sat him on my lap. Oh, I'll tell you what the problem is. How come I... How come you what? <laughs> at this, he flinched slightly. Evidently, he realized what I was getting at. Uh... Nothing. He turned away sulkily. Alas, if only I could bully him a bit more. Sadly, now's not the time. Are you not good with kids or something? Not really. But you have two younger brothers. They aren't kids. 
I can't stand to be around anyone under the age of 10. Oh my goodness, I finally met somebody who understands. <laughs> Thank you. That, that is also my age cutoff. 10 and above, get along fine. Anything under that, I'm like, I don't know what to do with this alien creature. Please, can a parent come and collect this? <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. I'm the baby of the family myself, so I can't say I have much experience with them, but still... They're just so cute, aren't ya? I turn the conversation to the boy in my lap. <laughs> Aw, it's okay. I know he seems scary on the outside, but he's a sweetheart on the inside, I promise. Ooh. The little boy stopped crying and stared curiously at the big, scary-looking man. <laughs> Fine, whatever. I guess I'll let you off the hook just for today. I could tell he was taking pains not to upset the child a second time. He's just so cute! Give me a huggy wuggy! I wrapped my arms around him and gave him a big squeeze. Huggy. <laughs> What's going on, little guy? Where's your mommy and daddy? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Are you lost? Good grief, what irresponsible parents. They can't be bothered to keep an eye on their own damn kid. Whoa! At Cinderella's caustic remark, the boy slumped his shoulders on the verge of tears again. Well, wait, don't cry. I'm just joking. Your parents aren't bad people, okay? Don't start crying again. Realizing his mistake, Cinderella jumped to his feet in a panic. Okay. Phew. Once the crisis was averted, Cinderella heaved a huge sigh of relief. I've never seen him act this way before. Oh, I know! Want a snack? Yeah. I think we have some cookies left over. I lowered him down off my lap and got to my feet. Meanwhile, Cinderella rolled his eyes. Didn't anyone ever teach you not to take food from strangers? Ugh. The little boy hung his head. See? He knows it's wrong. Oh, you're right. I didn't think about that. These days, people will call Child Protective Services over anything. They might even take us to court. Okay, how about this? Next time you're here with your mommy and daddy, I'll give you some cookies then. That works for you, right, Cinderella? I didn't get much of a response from the boy, so instead I let Cinderella make the call. Don't pretend you need my permission. I know you were set on doing it. Anyway, yeah, it's cool with me. Yay! Isn't that exciting? Y yeah So tell us about your parents. Do you remember the last place you saw them? No. The boy shook his head. Come on, you don't even remember what they were wearing. Mama had a white dress on, and Papa had a gray suit. See, there you go. That's all you had to do. Can you pick him out of a crowd if we need you to? Yeah. What did you eat for lunch today? French fries and a fish fillet. You mean fish and chips? Yeah! And I drank orange juice. And your mom and dad were with you? Yeah. Did you eat it at your house? Uh-uh, at a restaurant. You remember what kind of restaurant? No. What color was it? Brown? White? Ugh. Oh, I know. Was it kind of like this place? Yeah. Gotcha. That would explain why you came here by mistake. After asking the boy a series of questions, Cinderella nodded in understanding. I wasn't sure I understood where he was going with this, but it sure seemed like he was getting somewhere at least. Papa. Mama. The little boy whimpered to himself. They said they'd leave without me if I threw a tantrum. Maybe they won't come back. Fat tears welled in his eyes as fear set in. 
surely that's not... That's nonsense, kid. In contrast to my hesitation, Cinderella's tone was firm. The boy and I both stared back at him, wide-eyed. Parents don't abandon their kids over one measly tantrum. People aren't disposable like that. You can't just toss them aside whenever you feel like it. Trust me, no matter how much of a hassle you are, your parents will always love you. And that love, that bond, is unconditional. As I listened, I realized that this wasn't just what Cinderella believed, it was what he wanted to believe. Just because someone's love was un unconditional didn't guarantee that love would always be there. Anyway, chin up. Your mom and dad are probably on their way to get you right this second. When will they get here? Any minute now. I'll bet they're tearing their hair out searching every nook and cranny. Nook and cranny? It means they're searching all over town. That's how much they care about you. You think so? Sure do. Here, give me your hand. Cinderella reached out to the boy. Huh? Give me your hand, dang it. We're gonna hold hands. Or would you rather ride on my shoulders? How come? We're gonna go look for your folks, duh. Better than sitting around here, don't you think? And if we don't hold hands, you might get lost again. But you said strangers are bad. I'm no stranger. You know my name, right? The lady called you... Cinderella? Bingo! I'm Cinderella. And that means you know who I am. So I'm not a stranger, see? Okay! Beaming up at Cinderella, the boy took his hand. Atta boy! In response, he ruffled the boy's hair with his free hand. <laughs> that tickles! <laughs> what a tender little moment. <laughs> what? I thought you weren't good with kids. I'm not. After that little exchange, I beg to differ. You really do seem like the older brother type, you know that? I nodded pensively to myself. Where'd that come from? And for the record, Cinderella? I fixed him with a steely look. What is it now? I want to hold hands with you too. I reached for his free hand with a big grin on my face. Too bad, so sad. Aw, come on, that's not fair. This time it was my turn to throw a tantrum. Whee! Hey, settle down up there. You're gonna fall off. Aw, is he right? Riding around on the shoulders? Give me red feels now. Gosh darn. Okay! Hold tight, got it? <laughs> it was such a sweet, picturesque little scene, I couldn't wipe the smile off my face. Plus, after a long talk, I convinced Cinderella to hold hands with me later on the way home once we found the boy's parents. Yatta! Good grief. Quit fighting over me. Have some dignity. Why do you care? Isn't it proof that I love you? Proof that you love me? Well, I do appreciate that. Fine, you win. Ooh, you're blushing! Yeah, you're blushing! Shut it, both of you! Any luck? Do you see your parents anywhere? No, they're not here. Well, they're probably dashing all over the place, so we might have just missed them. They're probably not at the restaurant anymore, but I do have an idea of which one it was. You do? You're a genius! That explains why he brought us to a very specific part of town. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good thing there's not many restaurants to choose from out here in the sticks. All those years of goofing off in town really paid off this time, huh? I gave him a thumbs up, the universal symbol of good job. Though, no job would have been more accurate at the time. <laughs> Dang. Bilingual bonus. In Japanese, the word for jobless is mushoku. The more you know. 
Keep your little smart ass comments to yourself, would you? Sorry. Good grief. Oh, that's the restaurant! The boy pointed at a building in the distance. Aha! Uh -huh, I knew it. Oh, I recognize this place. It was the fancy restaurant I once visited with Cinderella. Finally put the pieces together, eh? <laughs> he smirked at me smugly. Uh, I hate when he outsmarts me. You could have just told me from the outset. Ooh, it smells good. A delicious scent wafted out from inside the building. Excuse me. I led the way inside. This restaurant used to be pretty unpopular due to its obscure location, but now it was thriving. Evidently, they'd worked hard to turn things around. Yes, hello! Welcome! As soon as he recognized me, the waiter froze in his tracks. No surprise there, of course. The last time we were here, we'd ordered one of everything off the menu, and I can't imagine they were likely to forget about it anytime soon. Sorry to bother you, but we're looking for this boy's parents. He says they visited your establishment this afternoon. I gestured to the little boy. Oh yes, they came in not too long ago, searching for their son. They did? See? What did I tell you? Your parents are out there looking for you. Yeah! Do you know where they went? Sadly, I'm afraid not. Well, that's alright. In that case, in the event that they come back to your restaurant, could you have them wait here so we don't miss them? Certainly! Thank you. We'll check back again in about 15 minutes, just in case. Understood. Thanks again! Looks like this might all work out. What a relief. Sounds like you'll be seeing your mom and dad again soon. I'll bet you feel better now, huh? Yeah! And what will you say when you see them? Um... I don't know. Wrong. You say you're sorry, got it? I'm sorry. Not to me, you goof. If you want to say something to Cinderella, you can tell him thank you. Thank you, mister! <laughs> At this, Cinderella fell silent, pouting his lips. Pardon me, mister, but I do believe this young man just thanked you. Now what do you say back? You're welcome. Ugh. Don't talk to me like I'm five. <laughs> Just then, my stomach growled loudly, ruining this sweet little moment. That was you, wasn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Would it kill you to just pretend it didn't happen? You heard it, didn't you? Yeah. See? But no, instead he smirked at me. Don't make the little boy your accomplice, that's cheating! Hmm... Well, can you blame me? I can smell all the good food a mile away! At this hour, the shopping district was bustling with busy restaurants cooking up dinner for their customers. I can smell all my favorites, too. Beef skewers, chicken skewers, steak skewers, <laughs> skewer skewers. Aw, oh, man, I love skewers. I guess that makes sense, seeing as you didn't get much of a lunch break today. If you're hungry, we can stop by one of these cafes and pick up something to eat. Nah, we can just make something when we get home. I'll wait. Come on, you don't gotta... Ugh! Out of nowhere, the little boy let out a cry of surprise. What is it? Do you see your parents? Cinderella and I looked all around. No, not my parents. There's a toy store. Oh, for the love of... The two of us slumped our shoulders. The boy flailed restlessly in excitement as Cinderella crouched down and let him off his shoulders. The second his feet touched the ground, he rushed over to the display window and peered at the toys. Which one do you want? In response, the boy pointed at the toy train. Cinderella! Oh yeah, that one, eh? You know, I don't mind buying it for you- Cinderella stopped short, wincing at his mistake. He shot me a guilty look. Hey, look. At least you caught yourself. It's hard to get out of the habit. No, that's okay. I don't need it. Huh? The toy's cool, but I want my mom and dad more. 
I'll wait. <laughs> You're such a good boy. I knelt down and patted him on the head. Does that mean you're a good girl? Huh? Me? You're waiting too. Waiting to eat. Yeah, but... Same thing, right? <laughs> I couldn't help but smile at his innocent question. Yeah, you're right. I'm being patient for right now so I can spend time with the man I love later. This time the boy patted me back. You're a good girl. Aw, thanks. Kids are so cute. Is he the man you love? Of course. Are you married? Aren't you a little young to know about that? <laughs> a dreamy smile spread across my face. And you? Quit smiling like that. It's creepy. Aw, he yelled at me. Do you love her? Do you? This time it was my turn to deputize the child. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. Yay! I gave the boy a high five. Yay! See, he gets it. Just then. There he is! We spun around to find a woman rushing toward us, her face as white as a sheet. Mom! Dad! You're here! As soon as he spotted them, the boy made a beeline straight for them. Mom! Dad! Oh, thank goodness! We've been searching all over for you! I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, sweetheart. You must have been so scared all on your own. The boy's mother scooped him up into her arms. Meanwhile, the boy immediately started crying. He must have felt so relieved to find her at last. Then a man walked up presumably the boy's father, and put an arm around his wife, smiling warmly. Aw, what a touching family reunion. They helped me look for you. Sniffling, the boy pointed at us. You two look after our son for us. The woman looked over at us. Yeah, we kind of found each other by chance. Oh, I see. Well, I can't possibly thank you enough. The couple bowed politely. Oh no, it was no trouble at all. He was an angel and we had a lot of fun together. Right, Cinderella? Yeah, we did. Please, let us make this up to you somehow. No, that's alright. Come on, let's go. Without, with that, Cinderella turned and started to walk off, but the boy ran up and grabbed his hand. Mister! <sighs> Cinderella sighed and put a hand on the boy's head. <sighs> What is it now? You found your parents, see? Yeah. Um, thank you for helping me. <laughs> no problem. Now don't go wandering off again, you hear me? He ruffled the boy's hair and the boy giggled. <laughs> I won't. Can we come to your cafe sometime? Oh, is that all you wanted? Sure, I don't mind. You're running a cafe? Yep, it's a little place right around the corner. Oh, it's the cafe with the strange menu, isn't it? She sounded like she knew the place. Is our cafe more famous than I thought? I really liked all the sparklies. Ah, Sparklies? Yeah, the bird and the mouse and the other ones. Oh! Cinderella and I exchanged a glance. He must be talking about the glass figurines. He was so busy crying, I didn't realize he'd even noticed. Feel free to come by the cafe anytime. We'll treat you to some yummy cookies, okay? I shot the boy a playful wink. Okay. Yeah. Next time you visit, I'll even give you one of the sparklies. You mean it? The boy's eyes lit up like fireworks. Don't be greedy now. You'll have to forgive him. He doesn't know when to say no. The boy's mom looked a bit embarrassed, but Cinderella merely smiled. No, it's all right. I think he's talking about the glass figurines I sculpt in my spare time. If you want, I can make you a brand new one. You like trains, right? You can make a train? Trust me, a train's easy compared to the one I'm making now. Wow! 
Pretty cool, right? Cinderella is so awesome. I bragged as though his accomplishments were my own. Can you blame me, though? Who wouldn't feel proud to be Cinderella's girlfriend right about now? Yep, I'm pretty awesome. So try to be patient, all right? Good things come to those who wait. Okay, I will! <laughs>